account. Beggars, slaves, even some what women. What the fuck are you saying? Baron's quarters are probably it's in like the door. fucking here. Uh, I'm a that that's the word. Get over here. Go around them stinkers and just get to the next floor. And the boss hates stench. Why don't you fucking catch it from him? Come on, why the fuck does he take so long? You could do it with your eyes closed, I know that! Will you stop bugging me? Ha! You must be one of the train gang! Just you take a fucking look at the beauty Vint is making for the boss. It's not just any old sort of wheels, I tell you. Of course, we only get to look at it. <sighs> Shit. Though you should fucking keep your mouth shut about that. Well, you, you just, just fucking, fucking pull it! Put your back into it! Why the fuck did we feed you yesterday? Yeah, I'm sorry, master. I will say it was not on purpose. This place is so nice. Shut up! I'll teach you how to serve now! I'm sorry, master. Don't teach, please! Shut the fuck up! I want you from Baldy Fair and Square. Look, you go up that ladder. Past the headquarters, then past the harem, and you'll end up right at the boss's door. No, I ran out of your tribals. Give me some more. Did well now. Oh, come on. I didn't mean it like that. Come on, what? You got to things. I spent 10 years without promotion. You fucking dumbass. It's not like you. All night. Visual! At the tank! 
He's on that ladder! Over there!
you didn't want a deer. Now you will all die. Starting with you, Gyo. Kill them. for you. Hold on. Where are you going, you windbag? There you are. Try the bullet. for you. Hold on. Let's give it a shove, Artyom! Stop! 
You wanted to create a new Set world up. with this? Not happening! Your misguided attempt! <laughs> I got her! Take the Baron! It's oh. the strongest! Who survives? Adio, your head's in the way. Gate open! Hooking the tank up! You gave my people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Uh, let's go, Artyom. Thank you for helping my people. I'm in your debt forever. <laughs> I was so worried. Fanatics on the banks of Volca. Cannibals in the mountain bunker. Slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves, and now we're stuck with them forever. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We are getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the Colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently, though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests, and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. We've left those sands long ago, and it still persists. <clears throat> what does Crest even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better would get kind of dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me, just A. She'd hug me and say, one day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in, and from there to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much, but I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly because I believed her. And then she killed herself, drank some kind of poison. 
Father quit drinking after Mom's death. Did never pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone. Took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times, though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter, and we went to the ocean together. Then my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over Mom's dream. Then I imagine she grew up and went to Vladivostok. And now I'm going. Not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what Dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, but what are they? Higher rank? He could choose any. Saving people? What would the saved do next? Sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? Nothing, perhaps. He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro? Those thoughts don't come casually. Here on the surface, though. I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot. Build a sand castle for the kids. I'm imagining two. A boy and a girl. The boy would be a copy of you. We'd go swimming with mountains behind us. Wooden houses on the shore. The sun would wake us up every day, rising from the ocean. That harbor is our destination. Worth going there, even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go, and where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. We broke out of the metro and are now starting to scatter. Not at once, of course. At first, we're all still running together, searching. But eventually, each of us will find a point like this and stay there. I don't know where my dad's destination is. Don't know where yours is either. But I know I love you a whole lot. Go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later. What do you know? Everything is perfect, Artyom. Follow us.
You're making me uncomfortable. What did I miss? We should have seen them dance. Don't you worry. You'll get another chance. A moment of your attention, please. Half a year on the road, and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained, <laughs> and much deliberation, we've found a place we could call our new home. <coughs> it is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, congratulations, everyone. Yeah! 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 yeah. 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 Yet, uh, this is not our last order of business <laughs> for today. Stepan, Katya. Oh, rings. Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to, you to be, be my, my spouse. spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to for hold better you from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer, <laughs> for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish and until to cherish death was part. To us part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and go Gorka! Gorka! What's happening? Be careful, people! Anna, please hold on to What's happening? What is it, Anna? What's that cough? Gotcha. Do something. Please! Don't this call her! Give her air! Damn! I'm sorry, I didn't say anything. What are you talking about, baby? In the Yamantau, when they dragged me away, <laughs> that ghoul doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump said I don't How have lungs. How can you believe that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand, so that might be the reason. Katya, Artyom, a few words. Go. I'm fine now. I don't know about this. The old man is furious. So, son, care to tell me what do we no, do please. now? Let us not panic and think constructively. So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid matter into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for us. Yes, I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start had it My been thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Oh, Anna coughed out some blood. Oh my god. Do you really think it's the same? That sounds more like TP to me. That's for sure. Maybe we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. What if... 
What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drop. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Right, Novosibirsk. Yermak, your opinion. For Anna's sake, I'd go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 kicks. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If our estate worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So Katya, please, find that name for us. I'll find it. Don't worry. One more thing, Artyom. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car, one volunteer, and go check everything out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. Tell Anna and the people to calm down. Poor girl. Now I understand why she was so down lately. Just imagine thinking about all that for so long. So, now this future is perfect. <laughs> now here are your orders, everyone. First of all, stay calm. The plan stands. We head for that valley with its fresh air and clean water. Then we go about settling there. If Anna's health... Dad, please. I repeat, Anna, in case you start getting worse, there's a drug Katya told us about, so we can go and find it for you, if it is needed. Hmm, that sounds like a great plan. I'd also like to say this. Guys, please don't worry. I've been feeling pretty bad as it is for ruining the party. Oh, come on, you didn't ruin anything. I just brought myself down to rock bottom over that bastard from Yamantel. Though it must just be the sand and desert climate. Of course that must be it. We were discussing exactly that just now. All right, a toast. To you guys, just be happy together. To you, oh, yeah! great toast!
I can't say I've ever been religious. But right now I'm begging all gods. Please, watch over Anna and make the valley cure her of her affliction. In the meantime, Alyosha and I are on a recon mission. We have no idea of what is waiting for us there. Though Alyosha seems convinced that there are going to be crowds of women eagerly anticipating his arrival. If that turns out to be the case, then I have the best companion possible for this mission. Yes, I must say, I'm rather partial to this valley. Take air for one. Makes your head swim. Never smelled air like this in my life. I bet if we spend a week there, it won't just cure Anna. It'll make Colonel grow his feet back. Damn, this is one bumpy ride. The rails are all bent. The whole track seems to be fixing to slide down. I sure hope it can hold our weight. Let's hail the Aurora and tell them to take the other road. Come in, Aurora. This is forward recon. Do you read? Over. Sir, this track won't hold the Aurora. Take the main one. Over. The general situation is completely awesome, Colonel. Sir, Alma is sure to love it here. Over. So the plan goes like this. We get to that dam, check it out quickly, and call them over. Just take a look at all this beauty, huh? Don't you want them to see it sooner? Look at that church for me. Caught your friend, but I can see you're two are not bandits. I'll help you out if you don't do anything stupid. You gotta run now. Just stay out of sight and you'll be fine. Catch you later.
The fuckers tied me up so tight I can't feel my arms. Uh, I owe you a big one, and I'll never forget this, I swear. Uh, these forest fuckers just left me here for the wolves. I don't seem to recognize you. Which barrack are you from? You should have some nice gear. In any case, don't go there alone. I tried, and, well, you know what happened. Ah, these bitches hiding like fucking lizards. Ugh, I found a way in and was going back already when the fuckers jumped me. Fuck. Ah, uh, fuck. Both legs went to sleep. Can't even move now. I'll wait here till they wake up and go bring the boys. We have a good chance to get a drop on them forced fuckers now. We'll tear them apart like fucking rags. Just look, man. Tell me, which barrack are you from after all? I thought I knew everyone. Are you even from our camp? Ah, uh, well, if you're not one of ours, I'm in your debt anyways. Thank you, man. <laughs> As for these fuckers, if you want to get through their territory... Oh. Uh, that was one dumb fuck-up. Uh, uh, time to go to the shore. Wait for the boys. They were supposed to move out soon.
to Freddy! It's the brethren of the coaster! Take another step and we run our rig on you! Aye! Another step and you die! <laughs> yeah, so beat it, you scallywag! If you know what's good for your ground-loving ass! Even one of you drifters we caught today is too much! already. Nobody came for the kids. Viking and Susha aren't coming back here. The dam workers told they'd give them the lift to the city, but I should have used my authority to stop them from trying. But back then, I still harbored hopes for evacuation too. Vain hopes, as I understand now, for what evacuation could we expect if there's only static on air? Help is not coming. Then again, do we even need help? Our valley was apparently not a target at all. Even the fallout seemed to have spared us. The counter gives me an all-green reading, even directly under the drain pipes. The children are well prepared. All that time hiking was spent well. It will be easy to teach them hunting. We have all the necessities, and what we don't have, we can make ourselves. To hell with doubt. Let's tackle problems as they arise. Survival comes first. <laughs> 